So, if you're watching this, you're probably wondering, how do I run a marathon? I mean, that's what you searched. Um, there, there's a lot to it, and there's, there's a lot that you need to know before you start. There's a lot that you need to know about yourself. Um, and there's a lot that needs to get done. So if you've never run, we'll say you'll, you've never run before, it's, it's going to take a while before you're ready to run 26.2 miles. Just the way it is. It'll, it'll take one year minimum, probably two, if you're under 25. If you're over 25, it will take longer. Uh, it, you know, it, it takes a long time to build up to that point. It took me about a year before I was ready to run a marathon, and I was already in decent shape. You know, I did track in high school, and you know, I I jogged a bit uh, through college. But then. One day, I decided, I've been thinking about this for a long time, I'm going to run a marathon. And most, I don't know, most people seem to think that, you know, it's one of those things that you have to think about all your life. No, I wasn't really thinking about it my whole life. I was thinking about it about a year before I actually started to train, and even then not seriously. And then one day I woke up and I was like, oh, I guess I'll train for a marathon. And now this isn't how it's going to work with you necessarily. It's not how a lot of people function. Different people function different ways. Different people decide how to train differently. Now, what you need to know before you start training is that it will suck. Uh, it, it'll suck from your point of view, it'll suck from everybody else's point of view. Um, your, your friends will ask, hey, hey man, why, why are you doing this? You're, you're, you're weird. Ignore them. R r know who you're doing this for. Know who you are running the marathon for. Are you running it for you? Or are you running it for someone else? The reason you decide to run a marathon needs to be for yourself. Now, throughout the training process, you're going to know it's going to cut into your time. You're going to need to dedicate your parts of your day to this. Uh, I was in an engineering program. I was taking 18 credits per semester, and I still found time to run. Uh, now, sometimes I would have to, you know, forego a run, which happens. Life gets in the way. But three, four times a week, I would make a point to go to the gym or go outside and run. And I live in, you know, western Maine, by the way, and I was training in the middle of winter. So it gets, it gets cold, zero, zero degrees. I was out running. You know, bundle up, wear a face mask. The weather is not an excuse. Conquer the weather. Though you'll... It, it does take willpower, I'm not going to lie. Um, now, if you can find someone to train with you during this, that helps like you would not believe. Especially when you start running uh, 10 miles or more. Uh, you, you can encourage each other, tell each other not to quit. Um, and what will happen when you start running? Well, you know, short distances, they're fairly easy. If you're running under five miles, that's not terribly difficult. And um, what, once you get above five miles, though, it starts increasing in difficulty, especially if you're running on hilly 
terrain. If you start on hills, it will kill you later. Try to find the flattest stretch possible. Uh, country runs are generally the most interesting. By all means, do trail running. And the majority of the running that you will be doing is not long distance per se. It's um, maybe three miles, five kilometers, or um, uh, maybe, maybe a little more than that sometimes. But you'll do one long distance a week. You'll start off at maybe three miles on the weekend. You'll do sets of two and three miles during the week. And throughout the program, you'll you'll up it a little bit. I the the most I ever ran during midweek was five miles. And every weekend I'd add a mile to my long distance run. And the schedule for that you can find here. And uh, it, that that's the schedule that I followed on my training path. Now, what you'll need to know about these really long distance runs is that they will suck more than almost anything else that you've ever done. You will chafe in the strangest places and you may not be able to walk for a few days, or at least not walk normally. Uh, after the marathon, I had difficulty walking without pain for a good three days. Um, make sure you have a good pair of running shoes. Don't skimp on price. If you pay the price now, pay the extra, you know, 40 bucks for a good pair of running shoes that fit and are sturdy, you won't regret it. If you get a a pair of running shoes that's too small or too big, you will feel it. Um, also, you know, do some research on different running methods. Find what works best for you. N not everybody runs the same. I, I, I didn't do so much. I, I just ran. I didn't lift weights. I didn't do squats, really. Um, I, I did some upper body workout, but that was more on the side, not for the marathon. Uh, now, when you do your long distance runs, make sure that you are hydrated. Bring water, you're gonna need it. Uh, your short distance runs, um, they, they should be focused on speed. Two, three miles, do it as fast as you can if you're doing three miles, try to aim for a time under 23 minutes and work from there. Now, the long distance runs, just go slow. Make sure you're running. Try not to stop to walk unless you're doing the Gallagher method, which the link is right here. Now, I, I never used the Gallagher method. I just it never appealed to me, uh, and as, as I said, I just ran. I didn't do any sciencey stuff. I really didn't change my diet. I actually started uh, eating more, and that, that's another thing. If you want to maintain a larger muscled body, do not starve yourself to lose weight because if you do not eat enough your body will start eating away at your muscles which is why a lot of these long distance runners uh, look like they would disappear if they turned sideways. Now as I said uh, on these long distance runs you will chafe and it's pretty bad. You will chafe on every part of your body. So my recommendation is especially if you are a baby dude, invest in a pair or two of um, compression shorts. Trust me, you you will you will thank me. Um, you'll chafe under your arm here. You'll chafe on your feet. 
Uh, the lady that I was running with uh, during the marathon, uh, one of her toenails fell off. Uh, let's see, if you don't wear your compression shorts, the insides of your legs will chafe. Uh, your genital area will chafe if you don't wear compression shorts. Um, oh yeah, and the best part, you'll, you'll probably chafe between your butt cheeks. It's, yeah, it's pretty bad. But, there is an upside to all this. And it's called the runner's high. Now, the runner's high, if you've never heard of it, it's what happens when you run so hard or for so long that your body just says, screw it. I don't know what to do. I'm going to feel happy now. And it is an amazing feeling. It's going to... I, there there was one that almost brought me to my knees. It was almost orgasmic. And that, was, that was one time. Most of the time, though, it's just, man, I have so much energy. Let's sprint the next 10 miles. And that, that'll last for about a mile or two. And um, go with it. Just go with it. It feels amazing when, when you just stop feeling the pain that's in your legs, in your lungs, and you just fly. Um, now, as I said, um, just um, I, I'd recommend just following this schedule. I'll put it in this, the link in the description. Uh, if you've never run before, start off with the 36-week program, I believe it is. Uh, now, if, if you're already running, you know, five miles, I'd recommend starting with the uh, 10 or 12 week program. Uh, that'll get you started pretty quick. If you're looking to set times, I'd say definitely do some uh, leg lifting work. You, you don't have to. If you're just looking to run the marathon, to run the marathon for bragging rights, and say, hey, I ran a marathon. Just run. That's all you need. To, that's all you should need to do. Now, if you want to qualify for Boston or uh, one of the big marathons, I'd recommend doing some kind of program along with your running. And as far as that, that's what you need to know to get started. Uh, and once you get it done, it's, it's worth it. The, the chafing, the pain, the not being able to walk... It's so, it, it's indescribable, the, the sense of accomplishment, it's, it, it's amazing. And I hope that if you're watching this, you'll end up going through with it. Um, I, any questions, um, feel free to comment on this video, I'll answer them as best I can. Um, also, I'll put some links in the description to other YouTubers that are knowledgeable in this sort of thing. And uh, happy running.